Continuing to fill questions for you, Amelia, I have a student asking a very good question from within our Telegram group about the potential utility of step three in terms of one's competitiveness for the match, okay? Uh, is there a use for it, okay? Should you sit step three as part of your application, especially if you are looking to go into a competitive specialty, okay? Uh, could it be valuable in your case? I'll give you a very fucking consolidated and clean answer here, not gonna be a lengthy clip. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel, I really appreciate it. Give the video a like, really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical, links down below. Find me on Telegram, links to the Telegram group and channel are down below, now start the clip. So step three, is there a potential utility, especially if you want to apply into a competitive specialty? And in my view, my opinion, the answer is pretty much a resounding no. And that's simply because over 99% of applicants are just not going to have it as part of their application. So for comparative competitiveness purposes, it's simply just not going to have a utility. If there is a hypothetical utility, and this is once again, in my opinion slash view, it would be for those of you who are post-grads from a long time ago. In other words, if you graduated med school six years ago, 10 years ago, and you want to uh, prove slash demonstrate recent competency, a step three could uh, potentially be valuable in that regard. Okay. I mean, you say, well, I just sat the step one and step two CK recently. Isn't that recent competency? Yes. But as I just fucking said, it's in my view, it could, step three could provide perhaps additional utility for those who graduate a long time ago and want to further demonstrate their competency, okay? Because if most applicants are applying from within the United States, they're not going to have step three as part of their application. It's pretty much only internationals. You need to have ECFMG certification before you're even allowed to apply to sit step three. And for competitive specialties, once again, just the overwhelming majority of applicants are not going to have it in their application. Uh, I do not see it as a salient variable. Even if you did very well on step three, I just don't see it as a salient variable overall. So my point of consolidation for this clip is no, I do not think you need to sit step three in order to apply for the match, okay? Uh, the only potential utility is if you graduated med school a long time ago, we could potentially have you sit it um to further demonstrate you absolutely have recent competency you know the deal to make more content i feel like my stuff subscribe my channel and i appreciate your time that's it